<laughs> residents of flood-devastated Burketown in rural Queensland have been warned of bull sharks and crocodiles potentially lurking in floodwaters. Around 90 people were evacuated from the town yesterday after the Albert River reached over seven metres, exceeding its 2011 record. Around 40 homes have been inundated by water and it could be weeks before residents can return home. And joining us now is Kylie Camp, who self-evacuated. Kylie, how extensive is the damage in Burketown now? So across the whole shire, the whole shire is suffering and reeling. There wouldn't be, I don't think, one inch of it that isn't suffering in some way, shape or form. Um, it is very bad. It's um, unprecedented, I think, um, in any written um, history, any, any um, known history at all. When you were giving those evacuation orders, what was it like? Um, how difficult was it to decide to leave and what did you decide to take with you? It was, it is difficult to leave your home and to leave your husband and son. But my husband asked me to leave for his peace of mind and that's the right thing to do so that he could focus on saving our livelihood. Um, I packed the most precious jewellery that my husband's given me over 28 years of marriage. I packed our important documents and I packed a photo of my husband and children so that even while we were apart, we'd still be together. Kylie, when that happens in a rush and you're having to separate from your husband, your, your son and his partner and the, the, the granddaughter are all having to separate, what's that like? Well, at the time, you just do what you've got to do and then you hit the wall later and the adrenaline drops and then you're actually quite exhausted. Uh, yesterday was a very emotional day. Um, I cried a lot of tears. Um, so probably it was good that I wasn't there because the last thing we needed was... Contri contribution to even more water um, <laughs> around it. Kylie, how's the rest of the community coping with everything? I think everybody is um, everybody's really struggling. You know, there's nobody that's unaffected in some way, shape or form. Aside from this flooding event, we've actually been cut off due to a higher than average wet season. You know, the food supplies have been very low. On stations such as us, we prepare, so we get a shed full of dried goods for the summer. And at the moment, I imagine if they haven't floated away, they're certainly floating. And so when we get home, there'll be no labels. So we'll be shaking cans and trying to work out, is it is it peaches? Is it beetroot? Is it soup? <laughs> <laughs> and um, could be some interesting meals coming up, I have to say. I hope you get at least one of each. Kylie, thank you very much. Stay safe. Look after yourself. No worries. Thank you.